Hi, I'm Stu. I'm going to show you how to UV unwrap a torus in Blender 4.2. First thing I'm going to do is select everything in the scene, delete it. I'm going to uh, Shift A, Add, Mesh, a torus, S to scale it up, right click, Shade Smooth so it looks nice. What I'm going to do up here is I'm going to turn on wireframes so we can see all the quads or all the faces. So a UV map is essentially a 2V mapping of how a texture will wrap around a 3D image, 3D object. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, tab into edit mode, select edges, and we're going to pick um, where to cut our 3D shape to unwrap it to our two-dimensional map. So I'm going to Alt-click an edge, and it's going to give me a loop. I'm going to click U and mark it as a, a UV scene. So it's essentially where we'll cut to unwrap. Do that again on an internal ring. And now that we kind of have told the computer, when you unwrap this, here's where to, to cut, um, I'm going to grab a face, Control-L to grab all my faces. Actually, yeah, and then I'm going to UV unwrap. So to show you what that did, I'm going to drag open a second pane. I'm going to go into my UV editor, and you can see it cut, it cut along the seams and gave us this single shape. <clears throat> but it kind of flayed out the edges versus um, in our actual shape. Each one of these rings is a consistent size. So um, this ring and this ring, in theory, should be identical. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick an internal sh uh, shape, go into vertex mode. We're just going to scale it along the X. to bring these uh, vertices in line, just making sure that these are squared up. I'm going to grab this face, Control-L, uh, to grab all the faces. I'm going to say, we're going to unwrap and follow active quads. What that did was uh, just evened, evened up the proportions of all of our faces. So the next thing I'm going to do, since this is kind of just floating arbitrarily in our UV map, I like to constrain it to the image bounds, then scale it up. So what that did was made it go to the edges of this image, um, but not over. So I'm going to show you how, how this is working now by, I'm going to open the shader editor. You can Shift F3 to kind of toggle through the editors down here too. I'm going to make a new image or new uh, shader. And what I'm going to do, make sure we're viewing our shader. I'm going to apply a checker pattern to it just for the time being to show you how these UVs mapped along here. So one thing we're going to see is uh, it doesn't look right. And you go, why, why is that? And it's because it's not using the UV map for this texture. Um, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on, there's a neat shortcut. Um, I'm going to click this texture and do Control-T, and it's going to give me the all the mapping information. Uh, if you don't have that uh, Node Wrangler add-on, uh, you can just Shift-A and add um, a texture coordinate and a mapping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick UVs to go into the mapping. And now you can see we've got consistent checker. Very nice. Um, so what if you don't want a checker pattern? <laughs> what you can do is create a new image up here. And um, just for, 
for the, the sake of showing you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a color grid on it. So what this did was it gave us some colors that are in kind of sectors that are mapped across this UV map. We'll just call this, this be our Taurus. Um, and instead of a checker pattern, I'm going to add an image texture and make it our Taurus texture. Map that through. So, so now I'm going to select our faces again, and you can see how that UV mapping is applying across an image. And even you could go in here and maybe scale this on the X axis and kind of use use a little more of our image texture. So that's pretty cool. And now you can you can see where in your UV map it maps to an image texture. And uh, to go one step further, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a new image and have it be blank. Let's make it white. Just name that something other than Taurus. Um, so what's cool now is what you can do is go into texture paint mode. And what you could actually do is draw on your torus and see where it maps onto this texture. So um, I don't love the drawing tools in here, but what it does let you do is, uh, let's say you wanted to mark some spe spe specific spots. Now you can actually save this image to your computer. It's me with my niece. Um, and, uh, and then you use Photoshop and you've got kind of a map of where um, your texture applies to your to your torus, that's pretty cool. Um, there's obviously a lot more to to um, UV mapping, but that kind of gives you the base for uh, a somewhat complex shape or something that's it's continuous across it, and there's not super logical spots to to break it at, but you can still kind of get get a good map, um, get it to an image file, draw on it, uh, know where your texture is going, um, where it's coming from. Uh, I hope that helps.